Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review vlog. Thor The Dark World. A complete and utter mess. And I have to say, probably one of the weakest movies in the Marvel Cinema Cinematic Universe franchise, to say the least. I mean, there is that other movie, which I will get to at some point later on down the road. But for now, let's talk about the, the second sequel to the follow-up. So Thor The Dark World is the movie that takes place right after the very first Avengers movie, in which Loki is captured, sent to the Asgardian prison, the Tesseract is safely locked away in the vault, and of course, peace is somewhat stabilized throughout the Nine Realms, so they think. Apparently a new uh, backstory has awakened where apparently the Nine Planets throughout the world have started to come into a line once every 5,000 years, and with that, uh, apparently another evil presence has awakened itself in the form of a albino elf by the name of Malachite, who uses pretty much a multitude of dark magic as disposal. And apparently there's a backstory to him where if he possesses this fluid goop thing called the Aether, he would pretty much dominate the darkness throughout the entire galaxy or universe or whatever, that sort of thing. So it's pretty much your standard villainous villain wakes up from a slumber and wants this coup de grace weapon that would destroy everything. And of course, who would, stop, who would happen to stop them? Of course, Thor and his crew. Now returning for this movie is of course Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hilson playing their respectable roles as Thor and Loki. And I will have to say they did pretty well for the most part. It's just that the movie itself has a whole lot of things that were going for itself, but at the same time, uh, the plot wasn't really going anywhere until something were to happen. Case in point, uh, there are several scenes throughout the entire movie where it seemed like a good hour of the movie focused mostly on Asgard, while most of it was focused on, while a good 10 to 15 minutes of the movie were focused on Earth. Now to clarify, Jane Fo uh, Natalie Portman returns as Jane Foster along with her stupid intern Darcy, played by Kat Dangs and Pete Eric Selvig as well. I forgot the guy's name. These three are detecting the strange fluctuations when suddenly Natty, uh, Jane Foster's character gets hit with the ether, gets possessed by it, and of course she gets uh, this uh, ether inside of her, which slowly kills her, but also at the same time gives her some uh, minor powers for the most part. And uh, it's, it's kind of like one of those things where they had to take her to Asgard and they just take her there. And some of the more insufferable moments were mostly throughout the London scenes where Kat Dennings and that other intern are trying to find Selvig. And there are some pointless scenes where they, they get Alex, Eric Selvig from the mental institution or whatever and uh, get ready for Thor and Jane to come back. But it was all rather pointless for the most part. You can just take away all those, those, their scenes were pretty much pointless for the most part, in which they could have just removed those things, and when they, when Thor and Jane came back, you know, they could have picked up right where they left off, which is what they did. A lot of the visualizations are back, and there are some, a lot of the spectacular things from the, the great Asgardian landscape and how their, how their lifestyles go, but at the same time it was mostly filler and padding for a lot of these characters who are drawn out their scenes. Malachi is the villain, he's about as cookie cutter of a villain as you can get. All he does is talk highly of himself, speak in a strange language, and only speak English when he wants to. And of course, there was no real motivation for Thor or Loki to actually fight this guy other than, no, oh, he killed Thor's mother. And you'd think he would be mad, but he was for like 5, 15 seconds tops. But after that, he was just like, all right, let's get back to business. And a lot of the fight scenes in here were pretty good, but that was mostly during the invasion of when the elves were invading Asgard with their mindless, faceless clone of aliens that were just shooting everywhere. And they were pretty much as generic a cookie cutter as well. And they're pretty much not as memorable. And I can guarantee you, if you did try to remember off the top of your head who were the main Thor villains, would forget because you would have to go to Google to look it up. A lot of the other side, and speaking of side characters, a lot of the other side characters from Lady Sif to the Warriors 3 are pretty much just pushed to the side for the most part. They're there for a few battle scenes, but that's pretty much it, or for one or two fight scenes, and that's pretty much it. But it's rather disappointing to see these characters that were once prominent in the very first Thor movie to get you know pushed to the side. As for everything else, the final fight scene between Thor and Malachi was was a bit Offsetting. They try to build it up as uh, like it, like every other superhero movie should, but it wasn't memorable, and it was more comedic and quite disappointing, for, if you ask me. And with that said, I would say this is rather the weakest one out of the whole group. And uh, 
I would have to give it possibly one and a half stars. And that's what I think of it. I do apologize for this being short and it's a little rushed. I've just been busy for the last week or so trying to get a few videos out here. I just wanted to get this Thor trilogy out and a few others while working on some new videos as well. And if you guys, and that pretty much concludes this uh, movie review vlog. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below, in the comment box below, and also check out my official comic book movie ranking list that I have labeled on imdb.com. And, and of course, if you guys like what you see, feel free to hit me up wherever you can, whether it be on Patreon or any of my other uh, videos as well. Movie vlogs, booktube reviews, and whatnot. Every little bit it helps, and I need to help a little bit, and I need your guys' help when it comes to circulating those links. So if you guys like what you see, feel free to subscribe, and also hit the notification button as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to drink a swig of water to uh, replenish my throat, edit some videos, and I'll see you all next time.